This is almost a crowd favorite. We have him and his teammate kneeling. This was presented at my first solo show in DC, the official Ice Cube signature. My name is DeMont Pender, AKA DeMont Picasso. I am an artist slash historian slash creator. I was born in Southside, Jamaica, Queens. Moved to the Maryland area, Maryland DC area, 1988, 89. Uh, as an artist, I'm more established in DC more than anywhere. That's where my foundation is at. Everyone starts out as an artist. If you think about when you go to uh, kindergarten, the first thing you do any, anywhere is you're drawing. You have your crayons. Um, so the thing is, I think I just kept my crayons in my pocket. My mom remembered me drawing, I think about five years old. She said that um, she was driving one day and she looked in the back seat through, up, through the mirror and then she saw me sketching on something. The formal training that I had growing up was watching my older sister. You know, she used to, she used to create cartoon figures, Mickey Mouse. And then also, uh, I would say my older cousin, he used to show me how to do graffiti letters. So I remember in sixth grade, I was the guy famous in school for drawing graffiti, lettering the names on the students' books. So that's how I became kind of popular amongst my peers. and made it build a lot of relationships that way too. It's a guy, a well-known guy named Raheem Devon. He, uh, we became great friends slash brothers, built a brotherhood with inside that. And then um, that led into both of our talents and our careers kind of merging together. He was getting ready to uh, release an album and go on tour. So he had asked me to quit my job to go on tour with him so I could paint on stage. And um, it was a cool concept. He, he, you know, he got the idea from um, a mutual friend, Wes Felton. It was a great platform. We, we, we did about 16. We did about six. Yeah, we did 16 years of touring and going around the world on that platform. Got a chance to perform for uh, Ellen DeGeneres, Jay Leno, Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, man, it's so many different avenues, uh, countless countries and. Continents, all different places. How many states we have? 50. You saw me DC the 51st. It's, it's so many different things. So it's a humbling platform. When I say performance and it's concert related, I start during the during the show. So a lot of times I didn't even know how much time I have. Sometimes we have like the, the TV shows, we have about three minutes. Or we have a concert, we have about 45 to an hour and a half. So long as I know beforehand how much time I have, then I know how to design what it is that I want to design. It's, it comes from the excitement of performing with and venues that you hear about on TV and see and the actual people. Then also a lot of performance for me means like people hire me to do birthday parties, wedding receptions, funerals, unfortunately. Man, queen of soul. You know, because I grew up in a household where that soul controlled our household. Great music, great vibes. So I grew up with all that Detroit sound and music and just great icons. So to be, to be there present and feel her presence is, is amazing. It's, it's humbling to know that whatever I'm creating is being, is being received by the family in a great manner. So as long as I know that's what the end goal is, to provide a little light to their dark situation, then I'm all for it. And you know, I'm humbled to be there. So we pay tribute to a lot of people that we highly respect and love and lost. Miss Afini Shakur, you know, you'll see Omari Harwick signature right there. You'll see it right here on Prince. You'll see Omari, Omari's words on here. Biggie Smalls, this is one of my favorite Biggie pictures. I actually did this piece live and then I went back over it later on and kind of like detailed it out. We have a hometown hero, Wale. Signed this at um, a store detail uh, many years ago. I would say this is definitely a special piece to me right here. I had as well thought to bring my own Mona Lisa here. So this is my version. It was inspired by Slick Rick, who's a living legend, hip hop icon. I did a portrait of, um, of Mayor Bowser. That picture became 
kind of historic. They hung that picture in her office. You definitely have to live and breathe it. I know I paint a lot, but when you actually see it and know that the time that you put into it, I'm just extremely humbled for every platform that I'm able to, to perform on, every relationship that I'm able to build. It, it's it's kind of crazy though, because I went, I know I had a vision for where I want my art to be or where I want to go, but I can't tell you that I would, it would be here. And whatever that here means to anybody, including myself, I just didn't think it would be here, not yet. But I'm still treating it as if it's not here, if that makes sense.